it's December. This year will be over in two weeks. Imagine that. It's crazy. It feels like the other day that we moved back to town and now we've been here a year and what, three months already. Absolutely crazy. This year has gone fast, too fast, way too fast. Um, yeah, I haven't even got a Christmas tree up yet. It's just gone too fast. Anyway, excuse the hair. I wasn't in the mood to blow wave my hair this morning, so what you've got is all the messy calls just taken out of my face. And um, yeah, there's no pretty stuff behind me. I look at all these other podcasts and I think, yeah, these women are so creative. They've got these beautiful displays behind them with crafty things and finished projects. And ugh, I haven't got space for that. No. There's no space for that in my brain either. It's just me and my office, so sorry. Anyway. Okay, so um, I am still in awe about Cable Me Cozy, the knitted blanket for which the cowl will start on the 7th of February. Um, she's back on my bed again. I switch her out with a comforter as the one goes to the laundry the other one goes to the bed and when the one comes back we switch again I absolutely love sleeping under that blanket it's thick it's slightly heavy it's, it's comfortable to put it on top of you but it's not hot it is the most comfortable summer blanket I've ever had I absolutely love it. So the kits are already on sale at A Freak Yarn. You can just look for Wacky Weave. No man, not Wacky Weave. Where do you come from? Um, just look under the kits. You will find me there somewhere. Um, the link has been posted previously. I'll try to remember to post it here in the comments. But yeah, the kit is available from A Freak Yarn. And... Um, it's worth buying the kit. It's worth making an heirloom for your family. But yeah, nothing else stops you from using something else. If you don't feel like buying that, you can use whatever you want. You must just... The pattern is, is written in such a way that it's very easy to use something else should you want to. You can start with the thin yarn on 4 millimeter needles. All you need to do is keep repeating the, the cable pattern until the panel is long enough to your liking. Measure it on your bed. And um, when you've put them all together and it's too narrow because you've used significantly smaller needles, then just repeat some panels and add them on the sides. It's as easy as that to customize it. So you don't have to buy the kit to take part in the cowl. I'm not like that. The pattern for the cowl is still available at $5. It will go up to $10 um, at the beginning of February. So you have until the end of January to purchase it at a half price. Okay, that's Cable Me Cozy. So that's for all the knitters. We're starting on the 7th of February. I'm going to host the cowl in the Ilona Slow Life Creations group on Facebook. Um, yeah, that's that. Cable me cozy for the knitters. Okay, then, um, the other blanket that I'm working on is the Wacky Weave and the Belly, which is crochet, interlocking crochet to be more specific. I am nearly done. <laughs> I've got 15 rows to do, which I should be able to do over this weekend. And then I have the border left. Nearly there, nearly there. I'm in the last section of the blanket. So maybe, just maybe, I might be able to finish it before Christmas. If not, it should be finished by the end of the month. And then I want to start the cull on the same day, on the 7th of February. It's my birthday. So we can start the knitting cowl for Cable Me Cozy and we can also start the crochet cowl for Wacky Weave and the Belly on the 7th of February. Now the kits for Wacky Weave and the Belly has not been released yet. 
They will be sold by Color Spun. We haven't released the kits yet. I first want to make extra sure that we've got the right yarn quantity. So I first want to do the border as well. And um, as soon as I'm done, the kits will go on to Donna's website. I can't wait for Wacky Weave and the Belly to start. I can't wait. Speaking of Donna from Colorspun, do yourself a favor and visit her website, colorspun.com. And then there are some luxury fibers in there. New ones that got added to her range. Oh, I always tell Donna, you're such a damn enabler. I just can't get my stash down. I'm... It's a problem. Donna has got a range that she calls Pastiche. It's a mix of merino and mohair and some of them has got silk in I think I'm not sure oh, people <sighs> they really call me <laughs> man oh man and and don't get such a fright when you hear the word mohair mohair is nowhere near what it was when I was a teenager, I can remember I walked with my mother into a yarn shop as a teenager and the, the color of the fiber or the yarn caught my attention and my mom took one look at it and she said it's mohair, we don't buy mohair. It's terrible, it's scratchy and it was. I picked that ball up and I thought, whoa, no, I'll never wear this. Mohair is not like that anymore. You get amazing mohair yarns in South Africa. South Africa has got a roaring mohair trade. And um, it's beautiful to work with. It's not, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. And it's warm. It's very warm. It's much warmer than, than merino wool. So do yourself a favor. Go on to colorspun.com and go check out Donna's new yarns. <sighs> The, the um, pastiche chunky. <laughs> it's got my name on. It's calling me. Mm. It's calling me. I can see. Um, while I was working on Wacky Weave Ndebele, I am... Um, so tempted to do a few measure and make wacky weave garment patterns. Very tempted. Very tempted. And that prestige chunky. Mm. I can see a cropped waistcoat in that with wacky weave. Oh. These are the things that keep me awake at night. They wake me up at about 3 o'clock and then all these pictures line up inside my head and all these ideas and oh man. Go look at the pastiche. Okay, so on the subject of Wacky Beef and the Belly, me and the testers have had a few discussions already concerning the border. Do we want to do this? Do we want to do that? Do we want to make a wacky weave border? What do we want to do? And eventually yesterday, I think clarity came into my mind after a while of throwing all logic out and just indulging all these weird ideas that my head bring me. When I taught the Crochet Guide to Greatness, one of the chapters in this book was... Um, Choosing your yarn, choosing your pattern and making it work at the end. And I had a concept that I called the project tug of war. With any project, there are three things that are going to fight for attention. At least three. If you're making a blanket or something with a border, it becomes four. The first thing is the texture of the yarn that you're going to work with. If you are using a textured yarn like thin and thick, thin and thick or an art yarn or um, like Moya Caress that I knitted the Cable Me Cozy with, 
the texture of the yarn is one thing that's going to fight for attention if it's there. If it's a smooth yarn, you don't have to worry about it. The second thing that's going to fight for attention is color. The more color you use, the stronger color becomes in this competition. Then you have stitch pattern. You have simple stitch patterns. It's not about how difficult it is to crochet or knit the stitch pattern. It's what the fabric that you create feels like. Is it textured or not? So textured stitches are things like in, in knitting cables. In crochet, it would be um, front post and back post stitches, popcorn stitches, bullion stitches, wrapped stitches. All those create a textured fabric. And the more texture there is in the fabric, the stronger the contestant becomes. Then you have the border. Did I, am I at four now? Uh, yarn, yes. Yarn texture, yarn color, stitch pattern, and the border. Now, when all four of those are strong, you get a mess. It's not pleasing on the eye. It's not pleasing to look at. Um, it, it just looks messy. Let's take Cable Mikosi, for instance. The yarn is textured, so you've got a contestant there that are strong. The stitch pattern creates a textured fabric. It's cables all the way. So two strong contestants. Yarn color can't feature. I don't want to make this with different colored um, panels or variegated yarn. That will be like really bad. It, it doesn't work. It, it looks too much over the top that thing of less is more this is what comes to play with the project tug of war <clears throat> so because the yarn is textured and the stitch pattern is textured I did one color only right through the blanket <coughs> pardon me and the border is as simple as can be the border must not compete with the cables on the inside the cables on the inside they are the focus point. So the border must just provide this little bit of finishing off this thing without grabbing for attention. So if we look at Wacky Weave in the Belly, some kits have got three colors, like the one I'm working with. I've got the yellow, the orange, and the lime. Some kits have got six colors, which makes it even worse. So what you have with Wacky Weave in the Belly Color plays a strong role because there's more than one. There are at least four. Three contrast colors, one main color. Or six contrast colors and one main color. So color is a very strong contestant in this project tug of war. The stitch pattern is a strong contestant because we're doing wacky weave. We're doing interlocking crochet. So the stitch pattern is in your face because it's these two contrasting yarns fighting with each other and it creates this amazing geometrical pattern but now every time we change color we change pattern as well so stitch pattern is really very very strong in this now when you look okay the yarn is smooth so the yarn texture I'm not worried about we've got stitch pattern contestant we've got color contestant and we've got border three it's a disaster you can do with two but three out of the question so the border cannot be a wacky weave border it's not gonna finish the project off it's just gonna add to the chaos on the inside the border has to be in one color the main color that we brought right through this blanket and it's got to be something simple it can't be wacky weave we want to frame it we want to provide something that finishes this chaotic picture on the inside these geometrical patterns that are so strong we want to finish them off with the frame and said okay my painting is done my work of art is done here's the frame so Wacky Weave is going to have a very simple 
border. And I know it works because I've done it before. The only wacky weave project that did not have such a simple border was Celtic knots. And the only reason for that is Celtic knots only had the two colors. We didn't change the contrast color anyway. It only had two. Plus, the, the blocks were fairly big and there was a knot on the inside, a Celtic knot. Um, despite there being so many blocks uh, with different knots, it still it, it tricks your eye because, yeah, the knots are different from each other, but they are in the same color, in the same style, so it's not that chaotic on the inside. And the knots were small. It, it wasn't a whole block full of geometrical patterns. It was just this knot on the inside. So with the border, we reversed the two colors and we made Celtic knots with reversed colors. And that provided a beautiful frame. It worked. But Wacky Weave and Belly is way too busy on the inside to do that. So the border is going to be very simple. I don't really have to design it. It's going to be fast. So... Maybe, just maybe, I can show you Wacky Weave and the Belly on Christmas. I don't know. Maybe it will be just after Christmas, but it should be before the end of the year. And as soon as I'm finished, even if Donna is still closed, I know Donna will put the kits on her website, and then I will let you know, and you can start buying your kits. Great. Okay, so that is... Wacky Weave and the Belly and the Project Tug of War that just came by. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> as you all know, I normally have a small project that I can cart along with me. And as always I do, we went away to visit friends last weekend. I can't take the Wacky Weave blanket with me. It's too big. It's just too messy. I can't do it. So, I um, grabbed my scarf that I started with last month. Do you remember last month I showed you the um, alpaca yarn that I bought? I've used quite a bit of it already, you can see. These are pure alpaca from Silky Milky Moon. Oh, it is so soft. I used a double strand because this is a, a rather thin one. It's between lace and fingering and I didn't feel like Thin. I wanted something thick and bulky. Now, how this came about, I have a friend. She's well known in South Africa, so I'm not going to mention her name. Um, she is going to see the Northern Lights in February. Normally, she doesn't wear a beanie. She hates it. She says she doesn't look good in a beanie. Well, okay. I couldn't care less how I look in a beanie if it's cold. I love a beanie and I will wear my beanie. I don't care what people think. I will wear my beanie. So I, I offered, I said, look, I will make you three or four beanies that you can take over and use there. And then when you come back, you give them back to me because I will wear them in the winter. You won't. So we made a deal. So she doesn't have to look for beanies. She doesn't have to lay out the money for nice fibers. I will do all that because I'm going to wear them afterwards. So I started with this um, deep purple uh, alpaca. And I wanted some mindless knitting. So I started the um, one hang scarf that's back on my blog. Now, the one hang scarf, the original pattern and the way it is in, on my blog now, <coughs> it's a boomerang scarf that has um, just a, um, a bit of lace here on the side. Now, you can make this lace however broad you want. I must go update the block with some customization options because it's as easy as that. Uh, the block will say to you times 5. You can do times 10 if you're knitting with thin yarn who cares just stick to the rest of the pattern just change that one measurement that one repeat you can make the lace as big as you want now the original pattern went like this right to the top and then i ended it off so it only had the lace on that inside of the boomerang and when i started this one i thought hmm i am going to do a uh, uh, a panel of lace like this at the end before I cast it off so that it's got laced on two sides okay so last weekend 
I decided, okay, I think I'm long enough now. I can do the lace. So I did the lace part uh, across. And then I realized, oh, the scarf is not long enough. So I decided, okay, stuff that. I'm going to go back to garter and put lace in anywhere I feel like it, as long as I feel like it. So now I'm playing. So now it's starting to look like this. So there's the broad lace part that I put in here. And then I did garter again. And now I'm just doing stripes of lace as far as I want them, when I want them. And when the scarf will be long enough eventually, I'll end with a bit of lace and then I'll cast it off. So it's going to give it a bit more going to zhoosh it up a little bit. So that's what's in my traveling bag. Oh, I need to show you my traveling bag. Man, don't you think this is pretty? Now look at the name. Hilda Hilda. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? I love it. My daughter sent me this from Sweden. Hilda Hilda is a shop in Sweden and as I understand it, they weave their own cotton to make these bags with. And it's a nice, thick, sturdy cotton. It's got a little extra bag on the inside. I just love it. Hilda Hilda made in Sweden. Organic cotton. I love my bag. Hilda Hilda. Suits me. Okay, so that is what's on my needles for traveling at the moment. As soon as I'm done with this one hang scarf, I'm going to make a matching beanie and give that to my friend to take with. So when she comes back, I'll get the scarf and the beanie back and then I can wear them next winter. Yeah, and as soon as I'm done with this, I am going to make beanies with Donna's... Um, Merino Aaron. Mm. Yeah, that's waiting for me. But first, wacky weaving the belly. That's got to go. Okay. So, wacky weave has really got me addicted all from the start again. I took a long break from it and I missed it and I went back and now I'm just, oh, I am so tempted to make some measure and make wacky weave garments. What do you think? Would you like that? Tell me in the comments. If you would, then I would start thinking. We maybe play around with easy things for a while. I don't know. I'll see. I love hats. I love cowls. And I love waistcoats. And I love jerseys, jumpers, whatever you want to call it, sweaters. I think measure and make wacky weave patterns will be epic. What do you think? Okay, so it's nearly Christmas. It's going to be Christmas in nine days. So on Monday, I have a Merry Christmas sale starting on Ravelry only. All my patterns will be marked 50% off for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, my time zone, which is GMT plus two. So I give you three days because of the difference in time zones. So Christmas is coming a week early in the world of Ilona Slow Life Creations. So if you want to buy patterns, go buy them Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday on Ravelry and everything is marked 50% off and the code will be CHRISTMAS23 CHRISTMAS with a capital C 23 without a space in between everything all together and I will surely post on social media as well great I think I've said everything yes okay so remember now Cable Me Cozy and Wacky Weave and the Belly. A Knit Cowl and a Crochet Cowl. They are both starting on the 7th of February 2024. Wacky Weave and the Belly uh, will also go on sale soon for a 50% discount until the end of January. And um, 
I just want to finish the blanket first so that I can check the quantities for the border for those people who are not going to order a kit so that they at least know how much to buy. Great. So for the month of January, the pattern will be available at a 50% discount. Great. I hope you have a wonderful festive season, a beautiful Christmas with special people good food and beautiful yarn may your 2024 be filled with beautiful yarn may your stash never get depleted may you find the most amazing yarn on sale and may you find the most amazing tools and gadgets for your craft at reasonable prices and may you get a project back as beautiful as mine. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a great 2024. I'll see you on the third Saturday of January.